What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. When you travel, your electronics should travel in as much style as you do. And specifically, some of those electronics need their own home. And so I recently had a situation where I was doing a workshop here locally and I wanted to take my Magic Mouse with me to use with my MacBook. And I was like, well, I can just throw it in my backpack. But I did, and it just kind of bounces around and gets grimy and gets banged up with everything in there. So I thought, why not get a, uh, a travel case for it? But on top of that, why not put the charger and the charging cable and the stuff just for my Mac road needs in a case? So I picked this up, as you can see here, it's kind of like this iridescent blue, almost a, a dark purple of sorts. We have a little tiny metal D-ring on a nylon strap here, and then a zipper with two metal poles that go all the way around. It is kind of a hard case. It has the logo right there. And as you might be able to see here, it's a couple inches thick, you know? Uh, so it's gonna hold quite a bit. And in terms of its size, it's not super big, but it should be big enough even for large charging cables. Now, a couple things that I saw about this that I was really interested in is not this. Look at this though. Looks like they're sending me some tea. Maybe it's the kind of tea I can smoke. All right, so we do have, oh, here's the uh, lanyard that could go on this little D-ring right here. So kind of like a little dog chain. You can slip it on there. You can put it around your wrist, right? And you can see, come case. Mm -hmm. uh, gray microfiber interior. And what you can see is that microfiber interior stretches up along the walls here. And we have these separators here, which are nylon and then they have the hard side of the um, Velcro on them. We also have this egg crate like, ooh, wow, this is really padded, way more than I expected, uh, divider here so that if you have things on this side and cords, cables, even charging bricks on this side, you don't have to worry about them banging into this. This actually would be good for cameras and stuff too. This is really thick and actually quite resistive too. So that's really nice, nice heavy foam in there. We also have, uh, some small, really small, like mesh pockets right there on the top, but bigger ones here. So I can see, you know, maybe like thumb drives or whatever being in this side and maybe like a square credit card reader or something like that here. I'm not sure what, what you would want to put in here. Maybe some SD cards or something like that certainly could do that. And then we have like a Jersey mesh, mesh material here for being able to put, again, more loose things, cables, cords, coinage, even something secure. Now, I just want to show you how these dividers work. So, you know, for me, if I want to put my magic mouse right there, I don't have to worry about it sliding around. Look, put those in there. I think that's about the right size. And then these should basically kind of stay in position just like that. And then I could separate it again right here with uh, uh, another one. So I could put like a large charging brick right here, USB charger, and then the cords, USB-C, micro USB, whatever you need in there. So you do have this nice carry case, hard side carry case for carrying just, you know, the essentials. Now I have a larger one. You can check out my other review when I'm going on a trip, you know, with my Apple watch charger, laptop, phone, iPad chargers, um, pretty much any of your cable I need, including HDMI if I need to hook up, like when I'm going on presentations and whatnot. But if I'm just gonna do a day on the road and you know, work remotely in a Starbucks or something like that, and, and you kind of need the essentials to stay powered, this is the one I would pick up. Pretty cool. I'll put a link to it in the description. I should also say it was one of the least expensive ones too, at about 15 bucks, 14 bucks maybe, I think. So pick it up. Peter Brown Panda, out.